Hi, my name is Peter, and I'm posting this because there was some confusion in the Dell forum posts regarding this computer, which I just bought last week. It's the XPS 8300. The confusion revolved around whether this computer can support three hard drives. Dell's chat tech support people and one person over the phone gave me at least incorrect information and told me that this computer can only support two hard drives. I will show you otherwise. This computer, as of this date, is Dell's flagship model. If you go to Dell's website and look to buy a computer, you'd find this one as the highest performance model. And it's, it's been out for about a year, and that's why I'm surprised that there were no YouTube videos on this topic. So perhaps this will be the first. Now, for any computer, not just this one, the way to tell how many hard drives your computer can support is how many SATA ports it has on the motherboard. This computer has four. So technically, it can support four hard drives although you'd probably want to keep one of those SATA ports for your DVD-ROM drive. This is my hard drive setup. You can see this is hard drive 1 right here, hard drive 2 right here, and this is where hard drive 3 goes. It's located in a slot called the flex base slot, and that's the slot just above where the hard drives go. And I was told by the Dell tech support people that that is a dummy slot and it has no function. But he was the same guy that told me that you can't fit three hard drives in a Dell XPS 8300, so take that for what you will. Anyways, the reason there were several posts of where to, to screw in a third hard drive, and I'll show you why that this actually requires no screws. It's a pretty snug fit. I'm pushing it forward, tapping it forward, and it's not going. This is the front end. I'm going to tap it forward. It's still not going. That's pretty snug. It's not. It's not going anywhere. So that's why you need. You don't need any screws for that one. One thing to note about the XPS 8300 motherboard is that it's crowded and congested. Uh, if you want to make changes, you can see all my power cords all scrunched up over there. If you wanted to change the SATA cables of the hard drive, you'd probably have to remove the video card. And the reason is because there's just not enough space right here, for especially for big hands, to remove the. You can remove the cables, but putting them back in would be like kind of a challenge without taking out the video card. But I have a tip. Uh, you can pull these out. Well, maybe you can for some cables. But when you're putting them back in, what you do is you align the cable as much as you can into the port. And once you got it aligned, I mean, you could actually put it right at the entrance so that's, that it's like almost in. But to push it all the way in, you wouldn't be able to do that with big hands. What you can do is take a, a screwdriver like this and put brush, pressure on both sides. Like that. Okay, And that would push the cables all the way in. The XPS 8300 comes with four SATA ports. And the first two ports, labeled SATA 0 and SATA 1, are high-speed SATA ports that can support data transfer rates of up to 6 gigabits per second. That's the SATA 3 standard. The last two ports, labeled SATA 2 and SATA 3, uh, can only have data transfer rates of 3 gigabits per second. And that's the SATA 2 standard. Uh, one thing to note is that if you buy a package from Dell, the 8300 package especially, make sure you know what hard drive speed your package comes with. Because mine came with the 3 gigabits per second, and I didn't realize that until I actually checked. And it was plugged into the 6 gigabit per second port. So I thought I was going to get fast speeds. But your speed is only as fast as the, your drive speed. Okay, so if you really wanted the high 6 gigabit per second drive, you got to make sure you have it. And if you don't have it, you got to buy it. And make sure it's in one of those first two ports. Now, quite honestly, if you're a casual user, you probably won't notice a difference. But that's just something to note. One thing to note about these four SATA ports, uh, since you know that the last two can only support uh, 3 gigabits per second, then when you buy your third drive, if you choose to buy a third drive, it's obviously better to buy just the cheaper 3 gigabit per second hard drive because you know that if you buy the more expensive 6 gigabit per second, you won't get that speed anyway. Okay, so that's just a quick note. If you're going to have three hard drives, you might as well have a larger power supply. Uh, I don't know if this is going overboard, 750 watts. Probably is. But 
I just want it to be safe, then sorry. This is the hard drive I'm using. It's a Seagate Barracuda XT, 2 terabytes. If you go to a store and try to buy a Seagate Barracuda, make sure you differentiate between the Barracuda XT and the Barracuda Green. The XT is the one that supports 6 gigabits per second speeds, and the Barracuda Green supports 3 gigabits per second speeds. The XT is more expensive than the Green. Well, I hope this addressed some concerns with the hardware configuration of the Dell XPS 8300. My name is Peter. Thank you for watching.